Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's tutorial, I'll walk you step by step on how to dual boot Windows 11 and Linux Mint on the same computer. This way you can enjoy the best of both worlds, Windows for productivity and gaming and Linux Mint for speed, privacy and flexibility. First, let's make sure you have everything you need. There are four crucial things. You will need the Linux Mint ISO. Head to the official Linux Mint website and download the Cinnamon Edition. It's the most feature complete. Choose the version that says 64-bit but you can download other editions if you want. You will also need a USB drive. You'll need a USB stick with at least 8GB of storage. We'll turn this into our Linux Mint installer. You will also need a tool to write the ISO. We need to write that ISO file to the USB drive. I recommend a free tool called Rufus or Belina Etcher. Now we need to carve out a section of your hard drive for Linux Mint. Windows has a great built-in tool for this. Search for Disk Management in the search menu. You'll see your main Windows partition, usually C Drive. Right-click on it and select Shrink Volume. Now decide how much space to give Linux. I recommend at least 30 to 40 gigabytes. If you have a large drive, 100 gigabytes is fantastic. Remember we're working in megabytes, so 100 gigabytes equals 124,000 megabytes. Enter the amount and click shrink. You'll now see a chunk of black unallocated space on your drive. That's perfect. That's where Linux will live. Time to make our installer. Plug in your USB drive, then open Rufus. Click on Select and then select the Linux Mint ISO you downloaded. Make sure your USB drive is selected. When you open Rufus with your Linux Mint USB plugged in, you'll see this section, Partition Scheme and Target System. If you're on Windows 11 and Secure Boot is enabled, select GPT and UEFI. If Secure Boot is off, you can go for MBR and UEFI, but I recommend F, GPT, and UEFI even if Secure Boot is off. I have a small drive, that is why I have selected MBR, and Secure Boot is off on my laptop. Finally, click Start. It'll take a few minutes. Once it's done, you have a bootable Linux USB. Now, restart your computer. As it's booting up, you need to press a key to bring up the boot menu. This key is different for every PC. Common ones are F9, F12, F10, F2, Escape, or Delete. Once in the boot menu, select your USB drive. Your computer will now boot into the Linux Mint Live environment. Welcome to Linux Mint. You can play around here. It's running entirely from the USB. When you're ready, double-click the Install Linux Mint icon on the desktop. Choose your language and keyboard layout and location. Select Install Third-Party Software if you want drivers and codecs installed automatically. Now comes the important part. When you see the installation type screen, select something else. In this window, select the free space you created in Windows and then click on the plus sign. Choose a mount point. You can create, say, a swap partition if your PC has low RAM. You can also create a home partition and root partition from the free space. I will let Linux Mint create all this myself. Now let the installer do its magic. This will take 10 to 20 minutes. Grab a drink. Once the installation is complete, it'll ask you to restart. Remove your USB drive when prompted.
As your computer reboots, you'll now see a beautiful new menu called Grub. This is the bootloader. It gives you a choice every time. You can use the arrow keys to choose and press enter. Go ahead and select Linux Mint first to make sure it boots perfectly. That's it, you now have a fully functional dual boot setup. Let us reboot and go back and select Windows to make sure it still boots perfectly as well. And that's it, you've successfully dual booted Windows 11 and Linux Mint. You now have the full power of Windows for your games and specific software, and the freedom, privacy, and awesome development environment of Linux Mint, all on one machine. If this video helped you, definitely give it a thumbs up, it really helps the channel, and if you ran into any issues, leave a comment below and I'll try my best to help you out. Don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.